guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of my 2023 fall decorate with me. And today I'm gonna to take you along as I decorate my living room for fall. I can't wait to make it all homey, cozy, and inviting. So stay tuned. And if you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and crafting here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, I'm really excited to get decorating. So grab yourself a yummy pumpkin spice latte, sit back, relax, and let's get to decorating. So I'm gonna give you a peek at my mantle that I've already gotten a head start on. I love doing this at night. I get inspiration and I start decorating. And I don't know about you, but once I get everything just so, especially garland, I didn't wanna take it down. I love the way it was cascading over the mantle. So this is what I've done so far, but I'm gonna add a few little things to it as well. And the best part, everything that is on the mantle are items that I've already had. I got the garland last year, Tatter Tulip. I've had this sign, the pumpkins I've had, and then I've also included things that are everyday items like the candles and that beautiful onion lantern. So I found these little pumpkins. They're mercury pumpkins. They're battery operated. I love the cozy glow. They were $14.99. I got those at Home Goods, so I'm going to mix those into the garland but i must say they are very very delicate i did break a few of them but i'm still going to use them anyways because i just love the way they look within the garland I also wish that these string lights had a timer. I have so many string lights that do. So I was debating about just taking these down and using just a regular set of string lights that had a timer and even a twinkle on them. I have a set that just has a really pretty twinkle, but I just love these and I love how they look tucked into the garland. I'm also going to add this really pretty acorn that I found at Marshall's for $7.99. I just love the way that this looks in the mantle, within the garland, and the beautiful glow of the string lights. It looks really pretty up there as well. And the gorgeous flameless candles that you see me use throughout my living room and my home are my favorite. They're actually part of my Tatter Tulip collection. So if you are looking for beautiful flameless candles, look at how pretty they are. I'll include a link for them in the description below. Next, I love to add seasonal art to my television, and this fall one is my favorite. It even has the crackling fire, it's so pretty. And then I'm going to add some of my favorite wax melts to my wax warmer to get the smell of fall in the air. These Swan Creek Candle Co. wax melts are just, they're so good, I love them. So now I'm going to add a dough bowl to underneath the TV, just keeping it very, very simple. The Hurricanes are from Kirkland's years ago. I think they have similar ones still. Keeping it very simple under the TV. I'm adding some more of the leaves. These are similar to my garland that are from Tatter Tulip and a few white pumpkins. And then underneath, I'm adding a white pumpkin and this beautiful hops.
over on my blanket ladder. I'm draping more of this beautiful hops. I love that little subtle touch. And I'm going to also add some hops candle rings to my lamps. I'm gonna to do to two of my lamps. I just like to keep my end table simple and not with a lot of clutter on it. So I just am removing the lampshade as well as the light bulb so I can add my hops candle ring. And then I'm gonna add the light and the light bulb back on easy peasy. And I just love that little simple, subtle fall touch. Earlier this year, I shared with you this beautiful tapestry that I added into my living room as well as the sconces. They both come from Hobby Lobby. I love this space right here. So I wanted to still include this tapestry in my fall decor. I didn't want to have to change it out. So I have these beautiful stems that I got last year at Tatter Tulip and I'm adding them in as well as just a few pumpkins, keeping it simple. But I love the way that it all kind of blends together and coordinates together along with the tapestry. Another thing that I've done for years is just tucking in a simple seasonal stem into my baskets like this one. This is just a blanket that we really don't even use. This is more decorative. And I just tucked this seasonal stem that I got at Tatter Tulip last year into it. And it just kind of completes that space. And look at how pretty this looks. I just love that little stem coming out of the basket too. It's just that simple, subtle, a touch that just makes it all come together. And over on this end table, I'm adding another one of these hops candle rings, but I didn't have to remove the lampshade on this one. I was able to add it on the bottom and then I'm just adding a vase, keeping it very, very simple. Moving on to the coffee table, I'm starting with a tray. I love doing this so I can easily take all of the decor on and off of the table for playing a board game or if I have food for football on there. Then I added a pumpkin as well as these candlesticks and these beautiful taper candles. They are my favorite and they are on a timer. They're part of my Tatter Tulip collection. I'll include a link for them in the description. I'm adding those to the candlesticks that are also from Tatter Tulip. And then this beautiful arrangement that is in this vase as well as these beautiful Fall florals, they are both from Tatter Tulip. I got those last year and I just love the way they look and they're cascading on the table. Then I'm moving on to my mirror. This mirror is from Kirkland's. I've had it for years and I'm just adding a simple wreath. This wreath is from Target and I'll include a link for that one as well in the description below. Another new addition are these pillows that I picked up at Target. I just grabbed two of them for the couch, not for the love seat. As much as I love pillows, I also have teenagers, so I have to be realistic. Pillows often end up on the ground, so I just like to keep it very simple. And then over on this table that is between the couches, I added a riser and this really pretty pumpkin candle that I actually got this year at Gabe's. Over on the love seat, I have a cozy blanket draped on it. And then I'm adding this pumpkin that was part of my tatter tulip collection. Unfortunately, it's sold out. And then in this basket, I'm adding another cozy blanket. You can have never have too many cozy blankets, especially in the fall while you're cuddling up, watching a cute movie. And that blanket is from Kirkland's. And then over on this table that is in the back of my living room, well, maybe in the front because it's in the front of the house, but we always see it as the back. I added more of these stems from Tatter Tulip as well as pumpkin, keeping it very simple. Then I have these little hops poofs that I love to just tuck into little spaces. And then back here or the front because it is in the front of the house, I have these pillows that I got at Home Goods that I'm adding to my wicker chairs. I still love this space that I did last year that I shared with you. It's just such a cozy space, another one of the hops. And here is my fall living room all put together.
And here's a little peek at Kitty. He was also helping me decorate today. I hope this video gave you some decorating inspo for your home and your living room. Just adding some simple, subtle fall touches, using what you have, picking up some simple things to add to your fall collection. And I just love how cozy our living room turned out. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed the most. Hopefully this gave you some decorating inspo for your living room as well. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, follow me over on Facebook or Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.